Hello, boys and girls. Imagine you're a general in the king's army, but you're so sick you can't even be with your soldiers. In the Bible, there's a story about just such a very important general. His name was Naaman. General Naaman was the most important general in the army. Everyone had to do what he said. But General Naaman had a terrible disease called leprosy. This disease was so bad that he couldn't be around anyone. No matter what the doctors did, General Naaman was still sick. One day, a young servant girl told her master that General Naaman could be healed by a man named Elisha, who lived in a different kingdom that was nearby. Elisha was a prophet of God. A prophet is someone God used to speak to people. General Naaman didn't know who Elisha was or how to find him, so he sent a letter to the king of Israel asking about him. The king was afraid that the general was trying to trick him. Elisha heard of what had happened to General Naaman and asked for him to come for a visit. When General Naaman got to Elisha's house, Elisha didn't even come to see him. Instead, he sent someone else to tell the general what to do. Elisha told him to go wash himself seven times in the Jordan River and he would be healed. General Naaman was surprised at what Elisha said. Then he got angry because there were better rivers where he came from. So he went away. Sadly, General Naaman was still sick. Then one of General Naaman's servants told him that if he was told to do something big and great, then he would certainly do it. So why not obey what Elisha said? General Naaman agreed and went to the Jordan River. He washed himself seven times, just as Elisha had told him. Then General Naaman was immediately healed of the disease. General Naaman was so happy, he wanted to give Elisha a lot of presents to thank him. But Elisha refused the gifts. Elisha wanted General Naaman to know it was God's power that healed him. Let's remember from this story that it is important to do what God wants us to do. Sometimes we think God only wants us to do big and great things, but many times God wants us to do small things like being kind and helping others. This makes God very happy.